Let's say folk, welcome back to Gunline. Today we're gonna get into the horizontal hives. Check on them. It's been about a week. We got into everybody else a couple days ago. Uh so we'll pretty well have everybody on track as far as checking everybody at the same time instead of every here and there kind of thing. Keep schedule, more or less, like we should. But we're going to get into them, see what happens. God bless you. We do thank you for watching. All the new subs, hey, thank you all very much. We, I mean, we, we really appreciate it, people. Uh, leave a comment. Tell us what's going on in y'all's yard. All right, we're going to get after it. All right, folks. We're going to get into the Comanche here. Yeah. See how things are going. They're bringing in a, quite a bit of pretty orange and a little bit of yellow pollen. I have no idea what's blooming around here. All kind of stuff. The mimosa trees, uh, crepe myrtles, everything. It's, uh, let's see, second week of June, roughly, yeah. 2022 before I get into them though I gotta mix me up another batch for my beetle back here had to empty the last run out things got a little they just needed to be changed I'll just put it like that add a little soapy water slice it up really good gets pretty bubbles look at that Perfect. All right, we're gonna slap this on here. We can go. Got a little smoke just in case. Try not to use it if we ain't got to. But uh, let me get all this plugged up, ready to go. Peppermint's ready. We'll see what it looks like. Well, let's see what's going on in here. probably gonna crank this vacuum up so if you got your volume up real high right now you may want to turn it down I'm gonna pull these and we're gonna see what's going on so gonna crank her up same one fly It's still building it out. See what's going on under this one. Not yet. There's a couple. Let's just see. 22 just tried to go high. Just come out there. Sorry about the, the camera. It's kind of hard to watch the phone and watch beetles at the same time. Oh, just a couple. Then I'm running back over here. Well, that was encouraging. They're building out nice and pretty. 
I doubt I'm gonna pull every frame, y'all. The main thing is just checking for beetles, see what's going on on this run. Uh, it appears they're doing doing good. So what I'm gonna do? We're gonna take and close this in, back up, get these little girls. Square it away here. Then we'll move over to this other side. Last time we was in here, we had uh, added some more frames, eight or ten of them. I can't remember how many it was. <coughs> but we're going to see, look at there, two beetles right there. Gone. You see them killing people. Don't let them things get away if you can help it. I'm in the flight path. Or the beeline. Look at all that. Or the piling they bring in. But you figure. They'd see a human that's four foot twelve and ten inches standing by the doorway and they wouldn't run into you. But but they just bumping me like crazy back here. Look at this guy trying to get away. Gone. Alright, I'm going to crank the vacuum back up just in case. Don't know what's behind these last three little slats. So just in case there's a bunch piled up somewhere, we can, we can at least get most of them. Yeah, they got some hemmed up down in there. I don't know if the phone will focus. No, they ain't gonna focus. They got some profilized in back there. Got him. Good deal. Oh, got one. Very good. Flew off or jumped off. We'll shut that loud thing up for a few minutes. Well. They got plenty of room, and they are moving back here. I really don't see no, where they drawing any of it out this far yet. This right, this, this frame here was the last frame. Then we removed the little doorway, if you will. It's just a piece of plywood we got that separates to each little chamber and we added one two three four five six seven eight nine more frames but they ain't quite made it this far there's a beetle right there smash that joker there's not many things in life that i really hate you can ask my wife pretty easy to get along with but this beetle 
situation. You can get a man fired up. There's only one other thing that I don't like dealing with. And that's the wind. We live near the coast. We're about, I don't know, two and a half, three hours, I guess, depending on how you drive. From the Gulf of Mexico. It's not the ocean. It is a gulf. Anyway, let me get off that part. Uh, we worked down there for a couple of years after a bunch of hurricanes come in, tore up Gulf Shores, Fort Morgan, Alabama. So we went down there and worked for a little while. And let me tell you what, when the wind just blows and blows and blows all day long, nonstop, while you're trying to work 25 feet or higher up on a condo, it tends to get you a little aggravated after a while. So once we wrapped all that up, I said no more work over there. If we can help it. Anyhow, these girls are looking good. I'm gonna get some peppermint ready. Drop them in. And we're gonna move on to the Escataba and the Apaches. See what's going on with them girls. Y'all stand by. Okay. Got four in here. This last run. I stuck four down here on this one. All we've been doing is eight peppermints per colony. Uh, I just like to tend to stick ours on the bottom. Bottom board, or if you got horizontal hive. Stick them on the bottom is what we've been doing. You can stick them on the top. I don't see that being being any different, but it's just my theory is the beetles are going to be coming in through the entrance on the bottom. So why not have whatever it is you're using to combat them down on the bottom to keep them from potentially pushing up. That's the only reason we do it. Now, we did stick a bunch of extra in one, let's see, in the woods here. On one, maybe the last video or second to last video, but we just like doubled what we put in there. Well, it's getting so hot, come back out the next day just to check on everybody and I noticed a bunch of purple goo, not purple, pink and white goo coming out the entrance. Well, what it was, it was so hot. All those extra peppermints were melting and they was filling up the bottom on the bottom board. So we've been sticking with eight in your big colony, whether it's just one deep, medium, and we're even doing it on old big girl over here where we got the one two deeps and a medium sitting on it uh eight in there too seems to be working well on the little nukes we've been putting six they've been able to keep up with it so far but we're gonna move on to the escatiba and see what's going on with these girls Stand by. All right, folks, on to the Escatiba. Same song, different verse. See, that's what that peppermint looked like, melting, coming out of that other box. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and crank that vacuum up again, see what's going on, just in case we, we have a pile of them in there somewhere. This 
is a small little bunch here. They've been struggling this year. High beetles got, well, high beetles got them originally. We took and cleaned all of it up. Tried to, trying to get them back on their feet. One there. Uh-oh. Got a frame stuck to that one. There went a beetle, too. And one back there. Two. Three. Bunch of them. I can get this thing off here. I may have to use both hands. Yep, y'all stand by. Okay, people. I went on and just pulled the other ones off. Everyone trying to get away there? I don't think so. Uh, we'll just take a peek and see if she's got some brood yet. I'm trying to remember when we introduced this queen. Mm -mm. I like feeling that nectar. I cleaned that frame up pretty good. Let's see. All I want to do is look and see what the brood situation is looking like. Okay, good deal. Good, good, good. I'm going to show you all this real quick. A woman should be here in a little bit. Help, help me. She's taking care of some family business right now. But. Yeah. I say she's laying. Looks good. Good deal. So. Take a glance at this one. Yeah, she's she's doing all right. See what's on this other side. We'll leave her alone. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Well, it's a time doing this stuff one-handed, y'all. Oh. Uh, they're starting to clean that up pretty good. Filling it with nectar. You can see where I tore out there in the middle. There's some wax moth damage. Pulled all that mess out. Looks like they're trying to straighten it all up same thing back here all right so it won't be too long from now next hopefully next couple weeks these little girls will start flourishing and usually let me get that joker sorry about that last two years we've had a colony in every one of these little spots there's three different areas we can put three different hives or we can put just one huge hive or little one y'all get what I'm saying uh, I'll see if I can find a picture but this whole front 
all the way down through here, top to bottom, all the way across. You won't be able to read nameplates, you won't see the wood, nothing like that. It'll just be solid bees across the front of it. So, we're just going to let these little girls grow. It appears she's doing well. And we're going to move over here to the Apache. Y'all stand by, let me get all this put back up. Got those girls closed up. We're gonna get into here. One more thing. When I was pulling this slat off, there were two wax moth larvae up underneath it. But, got them neutralized as well. I'm gonna crank his vacuum back up for a second. See what's going on here with, with the Apache. Still got some peppermint down there. They ain't been pulling on their peppermint much at all. See what's happening. Well, they're trying to get after one right there. Wrong button. Sorry about that. I guess I got some hemmed up back there. Yeah. Y'all tell me you can see one that got away. Oh, Lord. Yep. My word. Where to start? There's a bunch in that one. Shoot. Sucking up bees. Make sure they don't try to get down in there. Well. Yeah, got some here. See if we can catch some of them scragglers that took off running. Hmm, y'all stand back. I think pretty well got most of them. Whatever else we see, we'll try to smash with our hands or something. We'll take a look at her real quick, see how she's doing. They're in there growling. Get out of here. Yep, there's one right there trying to get this hive tool on it. Be tough time to get them little jokers sometime now. Let's see. Drone. Drone and queen cell. Hmm. A little bit of worker. 
Did we lose our queen and have a worker lay? Yeah, help me out. See what's going on on this one. They're bringing in that fresh propolis. This stuff you talk about sticky. Which around here where we at, there's abundance. This area is full of loblolly pine, long needle pine, whatever other kind of pine there is up here. Let's see. Yeah, lots of drone, very little, very little worker. Y'all let us know in the comments what you think. If my woman was here, I'd take the time to try to find the queen. Kill that beetle. Uh, she could hold this phone for me, but she ain't here right now. Just settle in, calm down. When she gets here, we'll take and look in here and see if we can find a queen or see what's laying. I don't know on that one, y'all. You know what's happening. Like I say, let us know. Y'all stand by. We'll get this put back together. Well, I think we're going to pretty well wrap this one up. But I got the glancing at my mess. I still have back here. Let me show y'all what them high beetles does. Every bit of that is beetle that's on the back side of the cone so i've been scraping and as hard as i'll get out scrape this mess up but when you roll it off that's what the comb looks like this you scrape it from the bottom and that's what you get when these beetles infest in your hives they i mean they just completely destroy everything the honey the pollen the main deal out of it, the larva, babies, they just, they devastate them. We're going to wrap it up. I do appreciate you watching Gunline. God bless you. Thank you again, people, for uh, subscribing. The new folks, thank you, thank you. Leave a comment if you're up to it. We're going to call it, folks. God bless you. Y'all have a good one.